Today I'm going to show you five different ways to generate a color palette in Canva and I do recommend that you guys stay until the end because I'm going to show you a different platform at the end that I find very useful and I think you're going to like a lot. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Let's go to canva.com slash colors and we're going to work with some of the features that we have available in here. We have four different sections. We have the color palette generator, color palette ideas, color wheel and color meanings. I'm going to show you how to use these different sections. So let's go with the first option, color palette generator. From here, we can upload an image and Canva is going to take the hues of the photo or the image and it's going to generate automatically a color palette for us. So we can try some demo images in here. You see that this photo has really cute colors and Canva is automatically creating this color palette from the hues on this photo. So let's try a couple of demo images and you will see how Canva is creating new color palettes for every single photo. So let's try it out. I'm going to upload an image. I'm going to select a photo and Canva is automatically taking the hues from the photo and creating this color palette. We can copy every single color and then go to the Canva editor and work with that color. I will show you later how to do this process because it's very simple but for the moment let's go back to the colors page and let's see how to work with the second option which is color palette ideas. Here I am in the color palette ideas and how do we work with this? You can either scroll down and see if you like any of these color palettes. You can click on any of the color palettes that you see in here and then Canva is going to open up a new page in which we can again copy the color hex code and then take it to the Canva editor. Let me go back to the color palette ideas page because there is a search box here that you can use to search for new color palettes. So let's say that I want to find an orange color palette. I can type orange in here. You will see some suggestions already in here or you can click on show all results. And here you have a search result of orange color palettes. Let's go back to canva.com slash colors and let me show you the third way which is color wheel. I really like this feature because with this color wheel you can generate unique color palettes because you have more control on the colors that you are going to select or you're going to generate on this color palette. So you have two options here. You can pick a color, basically you can pick it with this bubble or you can enter a hex code. So I have a hex code ready and then here you can choose a color combination. You have these options, you have complementary. So Canva is going to automatically find the complementary color of the one that you enter in this box or that you selected with this bubble. So let me work with this purple. We have the complementary color. You also have a color combination which is monochromatic. You have an analogous. Analogous pronunciation. Analogous. 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 Okay. You have an analogous combination, and in this option, you have three different colors. We have a triadic color combination, which also is giving us three different color combinations. And finally, we have a tetradic color combination, which is going to give us four different colors on this palette. On this color wheel, we have a third option, which is create a graphic or export palettes. So when I click on create a graphic, Canva is taking us to the templates section and it's already searching for the colors that we created or we had on our color palette. So it's searching for pink, orange, green and blue, which is 
the color palette that we generated in here. We also have this button that says export palette and we can export our color palette as a PDF. You have all the color codes in here and you can save the PDF. Now let me go back again to canva.com slash colors. Now let's talk about color meanings. Let's go to this page. What I like about this page is that we can search again for a color that we want to use. So let's say that I want to create a color palette that has red in it. So let's type red. You have some suggestions already in here, but let's go for show all results. Now Canva is showing us these different red colors. So if you click on any of these options, Canva is taking us to this page in which we have more information about the meaning of the red color. And we have here different color palettes using that red color. Also below we have more color combination ideas that you can use to create your color palette. Now let's talk about our fifth way to create a color palette with Canva. The fifth way to generate a color palette in Canva is inside the Canva editor. So Let's go to canva.com and create a new document. I'm going to create a presentation document and then click on create blank. Once you are in the Canva editor, you can go to photos and search for any color that you want to have in your color palette. So let's say that I want to have a salmon color. Let's search for salmon and you can pick any of the photos that you see in here. So I'm gonna work with this photo right here. Now let's go to elements and select one shape. I'm gonna go for the circular shape and I want to create a color palette with four different colors. So I'm gonna duplicate this circle three times, one, two, and three. And like this, I have four circles Let's organize them, so position and tidy up. Okay, now select the first circle, go to color and scroll down until you see photo colors. This is a feature that I think is working the same way as the color palette generator that we saw on color.com slash colors. So let me go back just to show you. I think it is working the same way as this feature, but I really find it useful because we have it at hand inside the Canva editor. So we have photo colors and I can click on the color to bring the color to my shape. Let's select the second shape and let's keep bringing the colors from these colors that Canva is giving us. So like this, I have created a new and unique color palette from a photo available in the Canva library. Okay, so this is one way to generate a color palette from the Canva editor. Let me show you a different way. I'm gonna copy these shapes and then I'm gonna select the first shape. Go to colors and select the plus icon. You see that Canva is opening this little window and now select the color picker. Like this, you can select a specific color from your image. Let's say that I picked this image because I really liked this yellow color. So I can select it and now I have the color into this shape. Let's go and select the last three colors of my color palette and do the same process. Let's say that I want to have a dark green and like this, I keep building my color palette from a photo. And there you go. You have created a new color palette from the same image, but this time you had more control on the colors that you wanted to select from the photo. Now that we are in the Canva editor, let me show you how to grab the colors that we had in canva.com slash colors. So let me go back to this page and let's say that I want to work with a color palette that I found on the color palette ideas page. Okay, let's say that I liked this color palette right here. You click on it and then 
you know already that you can copy the color hex code from here. So I'm going to click on copy and then go back to the Canva editor. Let's now create a new page and I'm going to bring a circular shape again. Now go to colors, go to the plus icon and then paste here. Control V and there you go. Let me keep bringing the other colors to my Canva editor. So I duplicated the circle. Let's go back to colors.com slash colors. This is the color palette that I selected. So I'm going to copy, go to the editor and do the same process. So plus icon, control V. And like this, I bring the colors to my Canva editor. Let me continue until I have the four colors into the editor. And there you go. I already have the four colors available in my editor so I can use them on my designs. Let me show you a little trick that I think is also very valuable because I believe that these color palettes are being used by a lot of people. As you can see here, over 10,000 people have liked this color palette, but I really love the colors. I want to create a similar color palette, but I don't want to have exactly the same colors. How do I do this? I can grab this color palette and then I'm going to work with every single color. I'm going to select this shape, select color, and then select the plus icon. From here, you can edit this color and you can move this slider to the right or to the left or you can move this bubble to change the color slightly. So let's say that I want to have a slightly warmer blue. Let's move this slider to the left. Just a tiny bit and the color should be changing a little bit. Now I'm going to move this bubble slightly to the right. And now I have a slightly different color, but still is very similar. I'm going to do the same process for the remaining three colors. So I select the second shape, go to the plus icon, and I'm going to start editing this color. And there you go. We now have a similar color palette, but slightly different. And now you're making sure that you are not using exactly the same color palette that thousands of people are also using. Now let's talk about the bonus way to generate a color palette and this one is using a different platform which I really like and it's called Coolers.co. From here we're going to select the button that says start the generator. This is going to take us to a page which is automatically going to show us a new color palette. By simply pressing the space bar you will start creating and generating new color palettes. If you see a couple of colors or one color that you really liked, you are going to lock it. So let's say that I like this one, I like this one and this one. So now when you press the space bar, you will see that the generator is going to bring you new colors. If you like one color, you're going to lock it and then keep pressing the space bar. Okay, I think I like this color palette right here. And now I'm going to show you the last trick of the day, which involves Canva again, to extract these colors in a simple way. Okay, so instead of taking the hex code and going back to Canva, pasting the hex code into a shape, we are going to do something different. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this color palette and then go to the Canva editor, drag this color palette to an empty page. Okay, so let me go to an empty page. Let's bring our screenshot and then you can do exactly the same process. You're gonna bring a circle to your page and then you're gonna use the color picker and continue doing the same process. So I find this way easy because we don't have to copy and paste the color again and again, but this color picker is going to make our lives easier. And there you have it. You have the color palette inside Canva already. If you are a beginner graphic designer and you want to learn how to use Canva, I'm going to leave you guys a video right here that you are going to love. I'm also going to leave you guys here the button to subscribe if you want to learn more about Canva with us. I think this is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye!